Hey guys, it's Carol Lee. How are you? It's been a while. It is a snowy day out there. Can you catch it through the window? Probably not. Who? The heck? Oh, yeah, it's really sunny out. There's like a nativity scene on my window and whatever. Anyway, it's starting to snow up pretty well. Today is December 17th or 18th, I don't know. Saturday, anyways. It's been a while. Um, I was going to talk about the three great things I did in 2019 or, you know, the top three things or something like that. But I've really talked about them throughout the last few videos. So, I mean, go ahead and watch them. It talks about how I got my RV, how I got fired. That's always a funny one. Um, you know, different things, how I save money, yada, yada, yada. So, um, instead, I don't know, I was just thinking around, okay, don't mind my hat here, I'm going to be all like kind of weird, um, I've been outside shoveling and roof raking, it's freezing out, I got on my bathrobe, my Aldi bathrobe, which has pockets that are like huge, I mean, you can put a tablet in them, so if you're looking for a bathrobe, check out Aldi before anywhere else. Okay, so I was just going to talk about I got thinking about this yesterday. I had the grandkids over, and the one is six. And, you know, he's doing jigsaw puzzles with me. Really smart. So, um, he happened to see a, um, a word search. So, you know, he starts doing one. So, um, you know, he barely knows how to read. So, he's trying to read this one out in the open, and it's got words like uh, greenery and... Oh, what's some weird ones? Um, I don't know. But it's got a lot of big, kind of big words for a kid that doesn't know how to read. And me, I love these things. I can look and words are popping out everywhere, usually. Um, so, you know, he's doing it and I'm taking care of his baby brother and going over and helping him now and then. And, um, you know, we'd be looking for something and honestly, there'd be a word I can't, you know, I'm like, where the heck is this word? I've been looking forever. So I told him, you know, maybe I'll just take, um, let's say chipmunk. Instead of looking for CH and, you know, going from there, I said, maybe I'll look for the PMU. And the minute I said that, I found the word. It was wicked funny. And so, you know, that happened. Then he's looking for a word and I come back, do the same thing again. You know, maybe a uh, spider. I can't find it. Let me look for the IDE or, you know. Something like that, and I swear I would see it right away. So, that got me to thinking, you know, last night I'm trying to finish it up because I can't leave it unfinished. Um, and um, I got thinking, you know, something like this, and I was kind of saying this to the kid in the way too, you know, sometimes you got to look at things from a different angle. You know, sometimes we get, um, <clears throat> like, we'll have a problem right away, we know. Someone else has had that problem, um, or we've had it before, and we know what's going to happen, you know, and, you know, sometimes what happens with other people isn't what's going to happen with you. If you look at every aspect of the problem, you know, break it down, you know, what is the problem, what contributed to the problem, was it you, was it someone else, was it the weather circumstances, you know. Just look at everything from different angles um, and different outcomes. Sometimes we're like, oh, I know right away this is going to happen. I'm going to, you know, somebody that gets, a, let's say, a, uh, I was going to say a car ticket, a traffic ticket. And right away, you know, I'm, they're going to pull my license and this and that and yada, yada, yada. You know, and if you think about it from every angle, that may not be true. In fact, a little hint, a friend told me, um, she and her husband were friends with a police officer, and he told her, if you get a traffic ticket, always write to the DA and, you know, explain. Especially if you're in a place you don't know, and it kind of like, oh, crap, you know. Or, you know, like I, um, <laughs> yeah, I had a ticket um, in front of a school zone. I was going a few miles over the speed limit, but I was, like, crying my eyeballs out. My father was dying, and I had... It's a long story, but I had the 
key to the Girl Scout Council because my Girl Scouts had spent the night there the night before and I forgot to return it. And here, my father's in the hospital dying. I got to go return that key. And I was just like, you know, Bleh. and, you know, I wasn't doing like 20 or 30 over the speed limit, just a little bit, you know. And um, so I wrote a letter the day. And my father had, in fact, died like a day or two later. So I did, you know, I wrote to the DA, sent the obituary, and they excused it. So, you know, but I could have looked at it like, oh, my God, you know, it's horrible. And just, you know, seeing the worst, and I tried to help the situation. And um, I may have gotten a few points on my license, stuff like that. I don't know. So anyways, that was just something I kind of wanted to talk about because I do believe we tend to jump into right away, boom. Negative mode. This is what's going to happen. Oh, no. You know, we don't even like try to sit down and reason and say, you know, maybe I can do this. Maybe I could try that. Um, and like I said, just because something happened one way for one person, it may not for you. And, um, you know, since then, maybe laws have changed. Technology has changed. Um, you know, it's just got to try different things. So. And another thing, dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> hold on, <laughs> oh, Gosh, getting old, and I just wanted to show you real quick, a new little tool I have to use um, in my coaching sessions, I could, my meditation, just having fun, but it's a steel tongue drum, okay, um, I'm going to do a review soon, but I will say it came with really no directions and I have no musical talent, but real quick, it does have mallets so you can just like goof around. You know, meditate and then your fingers. Oh, of course, I got these chair arms in my way, so, okay, and I'm holding it a different way than I'm used to. Yeah. Doop, doop, keep going. There we go. So, but, um, you can turn it around, but I kind of get used to one way. Then they say, I'm not going to get into it, but just real quick, you can either bang it with your fingers, which... I haven't done it in a couple of, or since yesterday, so I got to get my fingers back and practice. You can tap it, or you can slap it. And there's different, if you do a couple of keys at once, stuff like that makes different noises, but um, I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, I just want to say hi. Tell you guys, I survived December, barely. I'm still trying to get back into the groove of things. Um, the ebook is still not done, okay? But I am working on it. I'm doing the best I can. And, um, you know, like if you look at the other videos, you know why December is a bad month, blah, blah, blah. Even though I wasn't working on my book or I didn't do a video, maybe I was working on other areas. Um, I took out like five bags of clothes, boom, to the rescue mission or secondhand place. Um, I'm starting to go through books. So, you know, even if I'm not working on the book, I'm working on something else that's bringing me towards my overall goal. Um, and like I said, you'd have to go through. At least a couple of the last couple of videos to know like what my goals are. I do talk about my goal that's coming up in May. And am I prepared? Nope. Not really. But it's okay. It's okay for goals to change. So, you know, I'm working as good as I can. If that goal happens, if it doesn't, I'm not going to beat myself up. And there are things going on in the background that I might talk about in my next video that may make things happen sooner. 
later. But that's life. Does anything ever happen the exact day we want it to? No. I mean, oh, even right down to look at. I haven't redone my purple yet. Ah, oh, now how long has that been? Like a month. Um, but one thing I will say I've been kind of doing too is my son and daughter-in-law, um, she wanted to go back to work for three days a week. It's like, what, I usually get the baby maybe 9.30 and I have them till 4.35 depending. So I've been watching the baby three days a week and then the other one after school now and then if mom can't get them in time. So that's been a whole fun thing. Um, he's just a riot and he loves music. I mean, like, all day long, he wants to be on YouTube and listen to Elmo's song, and the cat came back, and it just goes, you can just go on 24 hours a day. They just keep going, 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 you know, and, you know, me who likes my music, I'm like, yeah, I drag out the drums, and I've got, you know, a keyboard, and maracas, we have all kinds of things around here, and um, the kids jam. The one comes home from school, takes out those drums and beats it so loud and so hard. And I'm like, yeah, dude, get it out of your system, you know. But, yeah, this is going to be a great tool, like I said. Um, yeah, and it's got different sounds depending on where, surface and all that. So it's going to be a great tool, I think. And, and it all counts me down. One day I played with it for like four hours. I was just like so into it I couldn't stop. So anyways, guys, all right. Anyways, I just want to say hi, love you, talk to you later, and Happy New Year, everybody. Bye. And bye again.